Hey, this is Russ. Hey, the Abus bike lock came in. <laughs> Took it a while to get here, but finally got here. So I ordered the uh, 110 centimeter version. Here's the lock so that you know what it is. Actually, let's do this. This thing opens up like this, okay? And then uh, they give you two keys. Here's one of them. This key actually has a little light on it. It's kind of similar to the kryptonite lock that I had. You see the little light? <laughs> so you push the button, it lights up. Put it in here, turn it. This thing opens up and then you can put stuff easily in there. So uh, it folds up very easily. All you have to do is close it up, flip it up, flip it up. Then you slide it inside the holder. I have some photos to show you too. So let me show you the photos and explain what I did and how I mounted this. All right. So the first thing you might notice is that uh, there's there's no real good way to mount this on a Rad Rover 5. All right. Now I know that Rad Power Bike shows uh, their version mounted on the top uh, of the the top tube of the uh, of the um, the bike. But the problem with this is that if you do that. You don't have a whole lot of clearance for uh, when you uh, jump off the, the seat. <laughs> so I can't mount it on there. I tried some other areas and I can't do it. Uh, some people would probably put it uh, maybe in other areas where if, if you had the standard Rad Power Bikes battery, you might, might be able to go underneath, but then the, the lock hangs underneath. I, I don't know whether this really works well. So the, the way I did it is I put it inside the basket of the front basket. And it's almost like a near perfect fit, <laughs> all right? So it takes up a little space inside uh, the basket area, but it's not on the bottom of the basket, it's up on the top. And uh, it pops out real easy and puts on real easy. So it's it's probably the best location for me to do. And and if this were ever to come off of the mount, it would just fall into the basket. So it's, it's really a good spot for it. I don't think it would come out, it's pretty, pretty stable. So. I tried different locations of where to put the the bike lock. So I tried putting the bike lock uh, for the front wheel, and then I tried it for the back wheel. Now, it is a little tight, um, even with the 110 centimeters. So I think if you ordered the 85 centimeter one, you could probably lock your frame to a stationary object, but you would never be able to get your, your tire in there. So using the 110 centimeter version, which is a more costly version, uh, you can you can do it either way. You can put that that lock on the front tire and the front frame, or you can put it on the rear tire in the frame. So let me show you how I did it. Here here it is in the front frame, front tire. Sorry, <laughs> and if you take a look at this, um, it's it's got a little bit of space still, but it's it's still uh, yeah, it's kind of tight. Yeah, I don't think if you did this, you would be able to put that um, against a stationary object as well. Yeah, it would be kind of tight. If you put it in the rear, let me show it to you when it's sitting on the rear wheel. You notice that I put it through um, kind of like the top section. There's there's an opening where the two, two um, I don't know what they call these side <laughs> side tubes uh, in the back. There's a, there's a section in the middle, as you can see there. I put it through that because there's not a whole lot of um, other options you can do and still have enough space to be, be able to use it. So... Um, the way I have it, I think, is the best way to, to do it, all right? Because you, you need to have it on the frame and you need to have it on the uh, the wheel itself. So um, those are the two options if you do uh, with the with the uh, Avis locks. Now, as you know, I also have a kryptonite chain. And uh, let me show you how I have that set up. So if, if it's sitting on the front wheel, it goes like this. Okay, and, and the reason I have to do it this way too is because, you know, I have a triangle battery. I have the, uh, the um, unit pack power battery, the 52 volt, 12, 20 amp hour battery in there. So um, it, that makes it tough too because there's not a whole lot of places you can actually wrap this thing around. But that, that, that's really where it's going to go. And if you do it on the rear wheel, I did the same thing. I put the chain through that little little small little triangle in between the uh, the rear, uh, uh, well, I don't know what they call those things, <laughs> where your tires go, okay? Where, so I put it through there, and that still gives me enough space that I could actually put the the, the chain through um, and next to a um, stationary object, you know, like some type of pole or something like that. So uh, it's still kind of tight, but uh, your, your bike would have to literally be right up next to it in order for this to work. 
So, I mean, the way they show the Abus lock is they, they, they put it through the triangle area and then to a stationary object like a pole. The problem is, is that you're not securing the front tire. And with a quick release on the tire, you know, someone could just come by and steal the tire. Now they say, well, just put, put that and then get a, get a cable. Well, you know how easy it is to cut through a cable nowadays with a with a bolt cutter. <laughs> those cable locks, uh, those cable, no, just the cable itself is basically worthless. In fact, let me say this about all locks: they're all basically worthless. <laughs> because if if the guy comes out with a angle grinder, he's gonna cut through anything. I don't care what you have; he's cutting through it and getting your bike. The whole point, though, is the better your your chain and locks are, it's gonna take him longer to do it. And so if you put multiple locks on, he's got to cut through multiples in order to get your bike. And they may look at this and say, you know, it's just too much time and too much effort. Or let's say he has an angle grinder with him and he cuts through my Abus lock. All right. Now he's going to have to go and cut through my chain. <laughs> so I don't know how long it takes these guys to cut it. Let's say it even takes them a half, a half a minute. Between the two of them, it'll take a whole minute. All right. And, uh... Maybe hopefully somebody will notice that within that minute. <laughs> My whole point is this, is that no security thing that you have is foolproof and they're going to get your bike if they really want it. The whole point is, is that you're slowing them down and the more of these locks you put on there, it slows them down longer. They may finally just say, forget it. It's not worth going after this bike. Let me go after another bike. Okay. And of course, if, if the guy's not a professional bike thief, uh, it will stop the casual guy walking past your bike saying, oh, look, there's a bike. It's not secured. Let me steal it. Okay. But the guy that really wants your bike and he comes with all these tools, he's going to get your bike. All right. Now, let, let me talk about something else that's been kind of popular now as people have been talking about buying these uh, these um, uh, tracking devices. Like Apple has a tracking device. I don't even know what they call this. Air tag, I guess is what they call it. Um, and if they steal it, then you can track it on your phone. Well, here's the problem with that. That helps you get it back if you go after the thief, all right? That doesn't stop anybody from stealing your bike. In fact, if that's the only thing you have on your bike, you're thinking you're safe, you, you got another thing coming, all right? Now, people have said, too, that, you know, if, if I have this, I can tell the police where my bike is. Well, they're not going to go right after that. They, they can't act on just, you know, you telling them it's sitting over here. They, they need more than that. So really, um, your best bet is to try to prevent the bike from being stolen, not trying to recover the bike yourself, <laughs> all right? So uh, if you have one of these things, that's great. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it, but you still need some type of lock. Yeah, you need either an Abus lock or one of these Kryptonite chains or maybe a U-lock, U one of these U-boat locks. Um, anything you get is, is better than not securing it at all, Okay. Now, I had at one time purchased a kryptonite U-boat lock, but I found that, again, it's not long enough. Uh, the U shape is not long enough to secure the front tire and uh, to, the, to the frame and also go around to a stationary object. So uh, it doesn't really make sense for me. Now, one thing you could do is get a U-boat lock and secure the frame to the stationary object along with uh, maybe the the uh, the the chain, but the thing is, is how many of these locks do you want to buy? How many of uh, these things do you want to carry? Each one of them weighs a certain amount of weight. They're not lightweight. The chain being the most uh, in weight. Uh, the Abus, I think, is like four pounds or something like that. The the, the chain that I have is, um, I think, like fourteen pounds, something like that. <laughs> okay, add a U boat lock too come on it's it, you're getting to be a lot but uh, i've seen people have three of these big locks on their bike to just to make sure that no one can steal it now for me i don't plan to leave it overnight somewhere like this this is just like if i if i wanted to run into the store real quickly and come back out in one or two minutes um i would secure it this way and feel comfortable that it's probably going to be secured uh but if you take a look at my bike <laughs> You could steal the battery off of this thing. Okay, now you you could come back. Your battery could be gone, and and my battery is worth um, you know with tax and everything and stuff about four hundred twenty five, four hundred thirty five dollars, something like that. And and as you know, I carry a lot of stuff in the panniers as well, so uh, they can steal all that stuff. But hopefully, the bike stays there. <laughs> you can't stop everything. If they want to steal things, they're gonna steal things, right? 
But um, I wish there was a way that they can secure these batteries better. Now, the Rad Power Bike has a battery that has a lock on it, but uh, hey, these these batteries can be opened up with uh, blank keys. It's, it's really easy to get to. So if you want to secure the battery, you got to take the battery with you. All right. Now, mine is only held by Velcro. So if you think about that, all, all they have to do is un-Velcro it, and they've got the battery. Right. And if I have both batteries with me, if I've traveled some distance, I have a front and a rear battery. <laughs> they can steal both batteries. It's going to be pretty expensive. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. And if this is helpful for you, uh, go ahead and get yourself a couple of locks and yeah, good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, and, and I also have, a, I mentioned before, I had a, um, uh, an alarm system on the bike as well. I have that hidden. Now, that, again, does not stop someone from stealing it, but hopefully brings attention. And uh, they can they can bypass those things, too. You know, they, they could break the, the, the alarm and things. But I have it hidden pretty well, so they have to look for it. So hopefully the alarm goes off. They can't cut through these things as easily. It might say, forget it, move on to somebody else's bike. <laughs> Anyways, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next time.